Hello, in this tape, I'm going to teach you how to divide complex numbers. Um, so uh, we're going to start out with a, uh, uh, an example like this, 3 plus 2i uh, divided 5 minus 4i. 3 plus 2i is a complex number. It has a real and an imaginary part. 5 minus 4i is also a, a, a complex number. It has a real and an imaginary part. Um, the key in dividing complex numbers or Im imaginary numbers is to remember that you are not allowed to have an i left at the bottom of the fraction when you're done. So there's a certain trick we use to make this happen. Um, by looking at the bottom, I want to notice that 5 minus 4i has a complex conjugate of 5 plus 4i. Let me write that down. complex conjugate. That's where if you have a plus bi, then you also have a minus bi, where uh, a and b are numbers. Uh, 5 minus 4i and 5 plus 5, 5 plus 4i have the same 5 and 4. They just have a different sign between them. Um, you're going to multiply the bottom by its complex conjugate. You also have to do the same thing for the top. Uh, anytime you multiply a fraction by uh, by something on the bottom, you have to do it on top. That's what I call a well-chosen one. 5 plus 4i over itself is 1, but um, it's just set up in a format, a, a version of 1 that makes is useful for us. <coughs> so now we're going to multiply the tops and the bottoms using FOIL. So on top you'll have 3 times 5, that's 15. The first terms are 3 times 5. The outer terms are 3 times 4i. The inner terms are 2i times 5. It's 10i. The last terms are 2i times 4i. 8i squared. On bottom, 5 times 5 is 25. Outside, 5 times 4i is 20i. Inside is minus 4i times 5, that's minus 20i. And last, minus 4i times 4i is negative 16i squared. And uh, we're going to uh, simplify this. Uh, so we'll have uh, 15 uh, combines this i squared is equal to negative 1, so 8i squared is really negative 1 times 8, or negative 8. So 15 and negative 8 makes 7, and then 12i and 10i makes 22i. Um, and uh, then notice the 20i and the minus 20i conveniently cancel out. That's the reason for using complex conjugates, is they, the, the i terms cancel out really nicely. Whenever you multiply a, 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 a complex number times its conjugate, you always end up with just one real number. Uh, negative 16 times i squared, that's like negative 1. Uh, negative 16 times negative 1 is 16. So when you add that to 25, you get 41. So that is a good answer. Also, sometimes you'll see it written like this. 7 over 41 plus 22 over 41i. That's also just fine. Uh, so that's an example of doing division with complex numbers. We're going to do one more example that's just like that, and then I'm going to show you just a couple other twists, and that'll be all. That'll be all. Three plus i over five minus i. Um, we're going to multiply that by the conjugate of the bottom again which if we have 5 minus i on the bottom, its complex conjugate is 5 plus i. And we have to do that in the top and the bottom. And then we're going to do FOIL. On top, first terms are 3 times 5, that's 15. The outer terms are th 3 times i, that's 3i. Inner terms are 5i. And last is i times i, that's i squared. On bottom, 
5 times 5 is 25. 5 times i is 5i. Minus i times 5 is minus 5i. And then negative i times i is negative i squared. And we're going to clean this up now. Um, i squared is like negative 1. So 15 and negative 1 add up to 14. 3i and, and uh, 5i add up to 8i. Uh, on bottom, the 5i and the minus 5i cancel out. i squared is negative 1. So this is negative, negative 1, which is a plus 1, which makes just a 26. And uh, notice that all those can be reduced by 2. So I'm going to um, you could rewrite this as 7 plus 4i over 13. You need to reduce them if you can. Um, and you could also just write this as 7 over 13 plus 4 over 13i. Either this or this would be just fine. Um, the last thing I want to show you in this video is how to divide by just an imaginary number, not a complex number. Okay, say we have that. 5 minus 3i all divided by i. Um, this is a lot easier than what we just did. What you do need to do is separate the top items into two individual fractions and write them as 5 over i uh, minus 3i over i. And you'll see right off the bat that those cancel out right there, those i's. So really we have minus 3 plus 5 over i. And now you can leave that minus 3 alone. We just need to deal with the i on the bottom of the 5. So we're going to multiply this by another well-chosen 1. Um, because i times itself is negative 1, I can just multiply this by i over i. And we're going to get negative 3 plus 5i. 5 times i is 5i. And then 1i times 1i is i squared. And that equals negative 3 plus 5i over negative 1. And that equals negative 3 minus 5i. So that's the end result here for dividing by i. I went ahead and took the fraction. I split it up. So I just had uh, 5 over i. That was something we had to deal with. Minus 3i over i was just minus 3, so that just kind of chilled out there for us until we got to the end. To get rid of the i on the bottom, I multiplied by i because I know i times i is i squared, and that is negative 1. Uh, and then we had that other i on top, 5i, and uh, if you have 5i divided by negative 1, it's just negative 5i. So uh, that is a quick run through of division with imaginary numbers and complex numbers.